Small, frigid, and wrinkled. At first glance, this more diminutive of Saturn's 40 plus moons does not appear to be a Saturnian world of wonder, but that was before Cassini. People are always asking us whether this is, this is fun, and uh, you gotta say, this, this is the type of thing that scientists that, uh, uh, that study the solar system really live for. November 28, 2005. Cassini turns and points its camera on a target 90,000 miles away. What we were really blown away with was that we could actually see this stuff. We could see ice particles being blown out of these geysers. When we looked back uh, from, the, from the dark side of Enceladus back toward the sun, we saw these geysers essentially backlit by the sun. Cassini imaging scientist Torrance Johnson was looking at a geological event that was taking place in deep space 890 million miles away. It was only the third extraterrestrial world to be revealed as geologically active. But more importantly, it was the tiny moon's smoking gun. Cassini scientists put the pieces together. They knew in space exploration, sometimes discoveries hide in plain sight. Cassini had already made three close flybys of Enceladus. Together, the February 17 and March 9 flybys provided for its cameras a tortured, fractured world of craters, plains, and in the southern polar latitudes, parallel flowing bluish fault lines they call the tiger stripes. At the same time, its magnetometer discovered ionized gas at that altitude. But where did this come from? The third pass came on July 14. Cassini's infrared spectrometer finds a tiger stripe near the moon's south pole to be 279 degrees warmer than the area surrounding it. When we turn the infrared system onto that area, we found that that place is really hot. The South Pole, just like the South Pole of the Earth, should have been really cold. And the power output from the, the thermal uh, power output from that South Polar region is sufficient to make us believe that there may be liquid water just tens of meters or a kilometer or so beneath the surface of this thing right in that South Polar region. Combining data from the three flybys and the November images, the Cassini scientists put it all together. Uh, these geysers that we've discovered on this moon are dumping uh, 100 kilograms per second, that's a couple of hundred pounds of, of uh, water and water ice, into the magnetosphere uh, uh, every second. Now, the reason that finding evidence for liquid water in any place in the solar system is so important uh, is because of its importance for life. Uh, on Mars, we have an entire program that's designed, in effect, to follow the water, to find out where there was liquid water on Mars. And on Jupiter's moon Europa, we have evidence that there may be a liquid ocean underneath its ice crust, also very important. Now Enceladus joins the ranks of those bodies, Mars and Europa, uh, that have evidence for liquid water.